We're here at the Oregon Medical Marijuana Business Conference in Eugene, Oregon, and we're joined by the fine people of the CO2 company. They're right next door to us, and tell folks your name and what you're all about. Cool. I'm Ryan Walsh uh, with the CO2 company. Um, we do, we're from Southern Oregon. We do CO2 extractions. Uh, we have a THC dominant line and then a, C, C, a CBD dominant line. Um, working on creating kind of different tiers of CBD to THC ratios. Okay. Um, hopefully a one to one, a two to one, a four to one, and then a low CBD, high high THC, and vice versa. All right. Now these are the product. This is the CO2 company. It's a vapor pen. Got the cartridge here, and uh, you've got the the black label and then the white label. And the difference between those? The black is a THC dominant pen, um, while the white is more medically based. It's um, CBD dominant dominant strains like Harlequin, Swiss Gold, Critical Mass, um, where the THC and the black ones are Sour Diesel, OG Kush, Blue Dream. Um, we use a lot of Southern Oregon staple strains, Willy Wonder, Blue Dream, um, stuff that grows well and tastes well. How many varieties do you have now? Um, it changes, well there's only, there's three different pens we have. Okay. The strains rotate every week. Um, okay. Basically we have access to great organic outdoor material we'll go out and we'll find the best strains and the best farmers that are doing good organic farming practices so the, the idea isn't that there's always going to be a shishka berry but if someone's growing a shishka berry harvested in its quality it could end up in the absolutely and, and we do we keep a rotation but it's it's, it's, it's pretty hard right now because um, the demand is so high that we just keep moving forward and making certain and working uh, just finding the best material and that's a part of um, having good flavor in the you know in the oil is using good organic. So we got a, a, or, organic. It's CO2 extraction method. So there's no butane, hexane, any anes involved here, right? It's all CO2. Yep. And then we winterize it after the extraction process uh, with ethanol, and then purge that off to pull out some of the waxes and fats. Okay. And this makes the oil more viscous and helps absorb into the wick. Okay. Is there anything else? added to this, a glycol or anything like that? Nope. Okay. This is pure cannabis. Pure cannabis. That's the, that's what I really like about this, uh, the CO2, because some of those pens out there are, are mixing other stuff in it to keep it viscous, to keep it, make it burn better or whatever, but it sounds to me like this process you do with, with the ethanol is solving that problem. Yeah, when we first started experimenting, the oil was getting, it wasn't burning right. Mm -hmm. um, so the winterization process thinned it out and then pulled out some of those fats and waxes, which are, you can still use in other products. Mm -hmm. um, and I think working with the farmers and finding out their farming methods uh, so we can avoid using pesticides on plants and because um, once you con super concentrate that it becomes a toxin. Right. Yeah. Um, so really knowing your farmer and knowing um, what their what products they're using is certainly an important process to this. So this has to be an amazing opportunity that you've got you know business wise happening here in that we're going to expand from a customer base of 70,000 medical marijuana patients to half a million adults in Oregon who might want to use uh, this product. In in moving to this new, you know, ha there's some concern by some folks that the more recreational comes on, the less there's going to be things like CBD and medical strains. It sounds to me like you guys are dedicated to maintaining that medical availability, even in the face of recreational technology. Yeah, so we're in the process of expanding our facility right now, um, getting a new machine to help fulfill with that demand um, even in the medical market um, for me the, the the recreational market will help us fund the medical um, we can get great. more uh, the research development bill which is going to help us uh, experiment with more CBD programs uh, we have a farmer now out in Williams uh, medicinal roots who's working on uh, his breeding program and introducing like he has a lot of cherry profiles and that's that's so it's some, one thing that the uh, CBD sap has a strong cherry terpene. Okay. So now we're going to breathe that into his cherry.
Cherry Skunks and um, Papa Cherry and his own kind of strains that are acclimated to his environment. And it's cool. And, uh, so when it comes to the flavor of these, other than the uh, the terpenes that you're going to find in it, you know, the lemony and the piney and the cherry types that are going to lend flavors to specific varieties, is there any uh, plans on adding artificial flavors, or is it just always going to be natural this one? I like the natural flavors. Um, Bubble gum, great. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. We, I don't want to experiment with with mixing them in. Uh, I've tried a few different pens that had it. Yeah. Um, I think with the right materials and the right breeding programs, you can find the terpenes, and you just continue to pick those phenos and develop them and um, keep it. Don't keep don't add some you know artificial bubblegum flavor. Find a good bubblegum strain and then isolate that. Yeah. And then cross it with something else maybe you know and so we're trying to find also gather information from patients to um, help develop strains that will work for them and give them more guided answers um, right on. let's talk about this event that you've got going on the cannabis informational that's uh, happening here pretty soon um, an afternoon discussion tell folks about it cool yeah we um, the OLCC and the, the district attorney of Oregon wanted to come down to southern Oregon so we wanted to put together just uh, a small event to uh, help bring out the farmers and show everyone who they're working with. Um, we're going to put together, we're working on putting together a kind of a, a business packet for the farmer. Okay. Uh, we're working with a publication and they can now incorporate their business, look at a logo, a website, uh, a couple social media outlets, um, access to more information so that they feel more connected and um, if they want to move into this market it, they have an act, they have access to it. Oh, that's fantastic! The cannabis informational. When is it? When and where is this taking place? This is Saturday, March twenty first, at the Windsor Inn uh, in Medford, Oregon. All right. And is there a website people can get info on this? Um, you can check it out on our social media, okay. or check out the CO2 company. The CO2 company. Dot com. Okay. And hashtag the CO2 company. Is there a Facebook, Twitter, and all that? Yeah, we're on Facebook, okay. Twitter, and so and Instagram, and okay. we're gonna kind of promote it this week to kind of get. We literally just put this together. <laughs> okay. Just because things are moving so fast. I got the scoop, folks. We got the scoop <laughs> on the cannabis informational. Check out the CO2 company. C letter O two, not C zero two. CO2 company uh, on Twitter. Facebook, Instagram, and theco2company.com. Ryan here is with the CO2 Company. I use them. You ought to, too. Thanks, man. Thank you, Russ. Have a great conference. Yeah.